so in this video here i share a concept a concept that is going to increase your win rate a concept that's going to make you consistently profitable in the forex market in any market because it's going to do one of two things it's going to make sure that the constant profitable trader you achieve your goals buy bugattis buy yourself mansions and whatever you want many traders overlook this concept and it's the reason your trading isn't taking off it's the reason you're stuck but if you begin using these concepts you're gonna see growth but before we dive into that i need to make sure you're understanding something you need to watch this video all the way because if you don't implement everything i'm about to share with you guys it's going to be the reason that's why you don't see growth it's going to be the reason that's why you're stuck in fact i just flipped this account here from from uh 300 or 200 dollars actually if you if you've been following my series here from 68 dollars to 500 and i've been doing it all over and all over and all over again but i need you i need to smash this the subscription button first i need you to smash the subscription button first subscribe if you want to grow fast let's and take a look at more examples of a uh, high resistance about liquidity is, run and a low resistance liquidity run and what makes those uh, two types of liquidity runs different we have an old high back here noted here and the market starts to move lower and we showed this example of price action here with this old high violating this old high here selling off these old lows being violated here and the market starts to rally up notice there was very little resistance in the marketplace when this high eventually traded lower taking out the liquidity resting below these lows here this run from this high taking out these lows is referred to as a low resistance liquidity run because we have a longer term high to the left of us and the market has shown a willingness to take out a low and then we came back above cleared out a stop above the high retraced had an unwillingness to go above this up candle here so institutional order flow as you'll learn more about throughout this entire mentorship moves back to bearish and expands to the downside it expands down to the downside to run out these stops below these lows the market rallies up again and fails to get above this swing high this run higher is a high resistance liquidity run the fact that it's going to have very difficult time getting above this high is because we've already priced in a longer term high an intermediate term high and this high is going to have a very hard time struggling to get through this high it's going to have a very difficult time getting through it so this rally up if we were buying long here we know that there's going to be a high probability that this is not going to be running out the high is going to be in intact it's going to be defended and the higher high over here will be defended so when price goes back up into this high this actually becomes a low resistance liquidity run to see price come all the way back down and take out this low here the fact that we keep this old high in place and every low that forms has very little resistance as each time it goes through it's like a hot knife through butter very little resistance to tell every time a low is formed price goes through those lows this equal lows here price trades through those this short-term low here price trades through it. these short-term lows here price trades through it so the the bias is bearish so you want to be focusing primarily on a market rally to take out short-term lows or intermediate term lows the difference between that is every rally is going to be viewed as a high resistance liquidity run it's going to have very difficult time getting above the previous highs sometimes it will happen but generally you're going to find that it's going to have a very difficult time doing that but because that's built into price action having a high resistance liquidity run here it turns into a low resistance liquidity run for you you just see a move below the short-term lows every short-term low is an opportunity to seek liquidity or the market to expand down after a retracement up to take out the stops that rest below the marketplace at every old low every single low that you see in price once we identify where the market is 
in terms of high resistance or low resistance liquidity. We can find old lows to the left. Market respects it here, comes back, but then now we have a lot of liquidity pres resting below this low here and this low here. And the market runs right through it. Small little retracement. There's more liquidity below this low here. So it's going to expand down through it. We have old lows back here. So the market's going to do what? It's going to retrace a little bit and then do what? Expand down to take out those stops below this old low over here. The same thing is seen when the market finds a low in the market. The market creates a, a small little consolidation, makes it a long-term low, rallies up, retraces, Moves into consolidation, rallies through again. So now we have a lot of price action here. So this old low is going to be well defended. The fact that, that we have a retracement going lower each time, every time the market retraces, that's going to be in the form of a high resistance liquidity run. It's going to find very stiff resistance with violating old lows. The, the old lows are going to be actually defended, and you're going to see – buying coming in the marketplace your focus is going to be primarily on the highs every short-term high is going to have very easy runs through them that forms a low resistance liquidity run the resistance levels are going to be very weak the support or lows are going to be very strong because the market's going to be capitalizing only on the buy side just the reverse of what we saw over here on the sell side, everything's going to be supporting bearish prices. So every retracement higher sets up another price leg to go lower, aiming for the lows to be violated. We've changed the tide here, and we made an old low. So every time the market retraces lower, that sets up new buying opportunities to take out the short-term highs or immediate-term highs above the marketplace because what's going to be resting above those highs? Buy stops. And you want to be buying low and selling to willing buyers above the current market action. And that's what the market makers do. So every time the market trades down, it's actually just a new low resistance liquidity run to make a run above an old high. It, it makes it very easy to find trades this way. Market trades down, small little retracement. This old high will be easily ran out. Low resistance liquidity run. Market trades back and it has a retracement. Very little resistance to get back up to this old high it runs cleanly through that another retracement here the liquidity is going to be resting above this old high and eventually the market expands through it as well and eventually the market trades through those lows as well okay so there's many elements to the things i've sought in this month's teaching looking for clean highs where the levels are just too clean um, when the market shows those types of levels, it's going to be very uh, opportunistic for you to build the idea that there's going to be buy stops above that. So any little retracement sets the tone for another drive through that. The market continues to find an ease of getting back through old highs. At some point, you're going to look at price action, and it's going to be very crystal clear that – the more price action there is around a specific level or a high or a low, that is indicating a level is being defended on an institutional price model. So you're going to see very easy trading when you trade away from that level. And by doing that, you're going to be getting yourself in sync with the institutional order flow. Then your trades will find very low resistance in the form of profitable exits and very little drawdown.